Alrighty, Chef Buck here, and what the hell is this? We're gonna call it an easy egg bake. You know, it's like a quiche without a crust, it's like an omelet in the oven, it's like a big, eggy, vegetable -y thing that has lots of leftovers and tastes fantastic and is super duper awesome cold. The first thing we're gonna do is figure out what we're gonna put in it. You know, you're gonna saute your vegetables, so get you some oil in a skillet. When the oil is heated up, add whatever the hell you like. You know, I'm using green onions, just the bottoms. You know, I'm sauteing first. I'm putting some garlic, putting in a whole jalapeno pepper. You know, I'm cleaning out my fridge. I got some bell peppers. I'm gonna add a little bit of artichoke hearts. I'm gonna add some mushrooms. I'm gonna add some tomatoes. But first, I'm gonna give these ingredients here a few minutes head start, you know, to get them nice and sauteed. But clean out your fridge. Just think of this as an omelet and put whatever the hell you want in your omelet. I'm going vegetable crazy. Throw you some ham or sausage in here if you want that's already cooked, but literally clean out your fridge. I'm putting a lot of wet ingredients in here and that's some of the uh, green onion tops I'm adding in there, but I'm also gonna reserve some uh, for uh, a little bit of a garnish. But whatever you want, add some spices, some seasonings. I'm just doing salt and pepper because I'm gonna keep this kind of, uh, kind of like on the mild side, you know, because I eat this mostly for breakfast. Although we're having it for lunch here because I'm making this in the afternoon. But the, the leftovers is what I really like. So first thing, saute your vegetables. Second thing, you know, whisk up your eggs, a little milk. You know, sometimes I, I chop up chives and mix in here with the egg or a little bit of basil or tarragon. You know, just like the herb omelet I make. But you know, you don't have to add anything that you don't want to to this. Just make it up as you go along. Saute your vegetables, get your egg mixture ready, then boom, you know, grease you up, lightly grease you up baking dish, and then we're gonna take some cheese and you know, cover the bottom of your dish with cheese, whatever kind you want. You don't have to mash it down, just cover it up. I got a little bit of cheddar and Gruyere cheese grated up, but it's fantastico with Monterey Jack as well. Layer the bottom with cheese, take your sauteed vegetables, layer that over your cheese, nice and even it out, nice and flat. And then, you know, if you got any cheese left over, go ahead and add a little bit of that to the top of your vegetables. It doesn't matter, you know, how much cheese you put in here other than the cheese on the bottom. Because the cheese on the bottom, it doesn't make a, like a crust, but it kind of firms up the bottom. So it helps to hold its shape. I'm gonna take our egg mix, and we're just gonna gently pour that over there so it doesn't uh, discombobulate the pieces. You know, it doesn't architecturally compromise your dish, you know, so gently pour it over there. And then, you know, you want the egg mix to completely cover it up, you know, so depending on the size of your dish, it's gonna depend how uh, tall or skinny or whatever the hell it is. But once you've got everything in your baking dish, slide it in the oven, cook it for about 40, you know, 40 or 50 minutes. I took it out after 40 minutes and I still had a little bit of cheese left over so I threw that on top. But you don't have to do this part. You don't have to make it as cheesy as I'm making it. I just had the cheese grated up, so what the hell, you know, and it made it look pretty too. But you know, after about 45 or 50 minutes, it's gonna be done. You know, this is a very wet dish because I put in the uh, mushrooms and the tomatoes and the artichoke hearts. But you know, you can use drier ingredients than that. I let it sit around for about 10 minutes to kind of firm up. As you can see, I'm holding the dish. You know, the dish is cool now to touch, but the egg is still hot because this is a big, thick egg bake, right? So I'm gonna slice it up. And with, since it's lunchtime, we're gonna serve it over some salad greens. And this was great on a salad because I didn't even have to dress the greens because this is so moist and juicy and eggy, you know, that it was fantastic just like that. But I actually prefer the leftovers to this. And this is great for breakfast. You know, I ate this all week for breakfast, little itsy bitsy pieces. And you know, you can just snack on it anytime you want, or you can heat it up in the oven. It doesn't really matter but it's muy simple, muy fantastico, and uh, the leftovers is, is the real treat for me. So make this, you know, once a week, you know, make this on a Sunday, and then you're gonna have breakfast uh, for the whole week, if you like. All righty, mine's uh, all ate up, and the uh, camera girl's working on her last bites, her new bald haircut. Kind of a semi-fancy egg bake. Kind of threw everything in there but the kitchen sink you don't have to put all that stuff in there man i just went crazy and i had a lot of wet things in there 
tomato, artichokes, mushrooms, made it very moist. So it was super duper perfecto to put on salad greens, you know, but you could put in a lot less if you wanted to. You could make it bigger, you could make it smaller. You know, you can have leftovers like this here. They're gonna be fantastico cold. I actually prefer this dish cold. When it sits overnight and kind of marinates those flavors, it's just fantastic. I, I never warm it up. This lasts me four or five days, having a piece of this in the morning, you know, if I gotta get up and go to work and I don't wanna fool with anything. It's just a great protein boost, you know, to get you going in the day. And like I said, a lot of times I will just make this with a spinach tomato and a white cheese, just like a Monterey Jack cheese. And I really love that flavor. But go ahead and give this recipe a try. Uh, let me know what you think. Bon appetit. Thanks for watching and subscribing and giving it the thumbs up. Send it to your grandma, although she probably already makes eggs, you know, I would hope if she's a good grandma. But anyway, I'll see you in the future and something.